Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again. You'd write Stephanie Cher, yes, with De Junero Pay. I'm looking forward to this recommendation made by Patreon subscriber, and it made it through. We'll be taking a look at the official video clip, guys. Taking it back, my friends, to 1991. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also, take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. If you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like these all the more possible. Just helps the channel grow as I push content further and further um, into the channel. Um, made possible by you guys, and I appreciate it very much. If I go bananas, it's going to go directly on my Spotify. Be sure to follow me there. Derek Reacts, link in the description down below. I also have great merchandise for you all. Check it out when you get a chance. Derek Reacts out store, custom tees, designs. Inspired by you, created by me. Guys, if you like the video, be sure to like and hit subscribe to stay on top of all the latest videos. And not only that, stay tuned to the end of the video reaction as I provide my in-depth analysis and um, post a reaction because that's when all the good, good stuff happens. I talk about the video and the artist and, and such forth, and you don't want to miss that. So stay, stay to the end, stay to the end, guys. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. J'abandonne sur une chaise les chounelles du matin Les nouvelles sont mauvaises tout qu'elles viennent J'attends qu'elles se réveillent et qu'elles se lèvent enfin Je souffle sur les braises pour qu'elles prennent Cette fois je ne lui annoncerai pas la dernière Et qu'attend Je garderai pour moi ce que m'inspire le monde Elle m'a dit qu'elle voulait si je le permettais Déjeuner en paix Déjeuner en paix <laughs> That's how you do it guys Je vais à la fenêtre et le ciel ce matin Mais ni rose ni honnête pour la peine so what does he do? What does he do? So in the beginning, he starts off with all these strings, the cello, the violins, everything, which is kind of like awkward sounding, very awkward sounding sounding in the beginning because you're like, oh my God, where's this going to go? But you say to yourself after reacting to so many videos, you say to yourself that bass and the drums are going to drop and that's exactly what happens. The, the bass drops in, the drums drop in and his voice, which is nice and raspy. And I remember that from the last one. It's fantastic. This man is an onto something. He's onto something, and I love it. Um, I love his, 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 his he has, just has this way about him. I don't know what it is. I can't put a finger on it. Let's rewind. Ben, est-ce que tout va si mal? Est-ce que rien ne va bien? L'homme est un animal, me dit-elle. Elle prend son café en riant. Elle me regarde à peine. Plus rien ne la surprend. Nasty, nasty. Oh, nice little. I like that. 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 Oh, I, I, I love this man. He's incredible. Second time around, but he's, he's, he's showing me that he's got the goods, guys. He's got the goods. He's got the goods in many ways. He's got the goods in many ways. My God. Oh, my goodness. It's, I think it's the long hair. I don't know. He's giving me kind of like maybe um, late 2000s Johnny Depp vibes. You know, uh, 
Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, kind of that thing going on a little way. I don't know what it is. His voice is good too. His voice is good too, but it's all about the eyes. It's all about the eyes. Um, I love the drum work. I love the bass. I love the strings. You get a piano sweep there too to give him more textures, but the keys are going good. This is all good instrumentation, guys. Really good. Um, and he keeps it very simple with the video. He's really feeling it. He's really feeling it as he sings, and I like it. I love his voice. His voice is so good. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so this is definitely a standout, most definitely. Let's continue. I love that little intermittent moment that we got, too. There it is. There it is, there it is. Guitars. An organ. Oh. Good vibes, good vibes. A good a song that has good vibes, um, and um, it just makes you it just makes you like rock out. It makes you rock out. And just it's just good. It's good in the mix. Good in the mix. When I say good in the mix, what I mean is that uh, if you have other songs that kind of follow that same kind of like pattern, that same kind of like thing, it's good to have a different stroke. You know, a different stroke uh, every once in a while, and that's one of these songs, um, and I like that because it, it just. It gives it a nice little twist, guys. You gotta mix it up. You gotta mix it up. You gotta mix up that playlist. You don't want everything to be all, you know, all, all um, 80s synthy stuff. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh my God, I could just picture this man um, in the in in the, in the studio, you know, during production, uh, composing the song and bringing it about with sounds and saying like this. He's like, he says to himself, hmm. I think we're missing something. I think we're missing something. Let's just throw in an organ. Why not? Why not? Why don't you? Um, maybe, maybe get a little bit heavier on the guitars. Maybe do a piano sweep. Why don't you? Um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like you know, it, it needs this. It needs that. And do this for. I just love it. I love it. And that's what's so good about it. You get little surprises here and there, and it just makes you um, say, "Wow, you know, this is good. This is better. I look forward to it. I look forward to it." Um, it's a song that you listen to over and over and you find new things every 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 now and then and that's the that's the good thing about it So let's go over the lyrics a peaceful breakfast. I, I dropped a newspaper uh, on, a, on a choir things uh, On a chair. I said choir uh, things are bad all over I wait for her to wake up and I get out of bed at last I blow on the embers to rekindle the fire and all of this is happening with all the strings right in the beginning um, and it isn't until the you know, the meat and the bones where he comes in with a drop with the bass and the drums. This time I won't tell her about the latest mass slaughter. I'll keep my thoughts about the world to myself. She told me that she liked that it's that that's okay with me to enjoy a peaceful breakfast. I stepped to the window today. The morning sky is neither rosy or truthful, but still is everything so bad? Is there nothing going too well? Man is an animal, she says. So this is an interesting song because if you don't pay attention to the lyrics like me, I'm going to be brutally honest, I couldn't understand what he was saying, but I wasn't reading also the lyrics, and normally I tend to do that. It's actually an in-depth song with a lot of meaning, um, and he, he counterbalances it with this very kind of like uppity type of thing, but there's a serious nature to it within the lyrics. Let's continue. She laughs as she drinks her coffee, hardly looking at me. Nothing about human nature surprises her anymore. That's why she'd like at least... I'm okay with that, to enjoy a peaceful breakfast. Notice the word peaceful breakfast. Yeah, a peaceful breakfast. Oh, a peaceful breakfast. I look at the newspaper and on the chair, there are things that are bad all around. Do you know? Do you think it will snow? She asks suddenly. Won't you give me a child for Christmas? She laughs as she drinks her coffee, uh, hardly looking at me. Nothing about human nature surprises, me, uh, uh, surprises her anymore. So notice the lyrics, guys. Peaceful breakfast. Why? Why is he referencing this as that's the title of the, the, the song? 
Um, well, the song was released during Gulf War, 1990 and 1991, and uh, Philippe Dijon had submitted the text to Stephen Escher, uh, who had the idea of dressing it with a medley with an erratic sample with an, on a synthesizer. Unaccustomed to the success encountered with such public, Etred Mayer ad admitted that he lost time to the sense of reality. Interesting, guys. Interesting. So there's the, there's the, the, the connotation to the lyrics. Lunch in Peace enters top 50 at, 30 second, at the 32nd place. When it begins to progress over the following weeks before reaching to second place in the top during the seventh week. Before dropping one place the following week. But manages to rise to the top second place in the top 50. Keeping this position for four weeks. And that's not bad, guys. That's actually really good. From 9 to 25th. Uh, he left the standings after 20 second week and 40 uh first place it sold 240,000 copies so it was gravitating it was gravitating mo most definitely and there you have it um really good guys really good on the ears just it's just a good song good song um and the the guitar solo by the way um is per is uh performed by Francois Dilek Dilek so there you have it really good 90s guys 90s who would have thought who would have thought you guys say 80s it's 1991. There you have it. Let me know what you think about this one. I would love to hear what you have to say about this one and possible more Steven uh, reactions or Stefan. Until next time, for more videos like these, guys, take care. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And, guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys. Take care. Love you guys. Peace.